This is a picture, some say, which is quite popular in the lore of Middletown Engine Center history. It is of the PW4000 112-inch engine, with an assembly mechanic dutifully standing beside it. The engine, the picture, and the mechanic all have a legacy here. This picture was taken 30 years ago out in a truck well. And if you've seen it, you'll see that there's no gray hair, long hair, curly hair. And today, 36 years later, we've thinned out and we've got gray hair. Just like the engine, we've gotten older. <laughs> Assembly mechanic Tommy Musumeci is one of those guys you could talk to for hours about Pratt Whitney history. And this picture decorated an engine center wall for years. 36 years, you know, working for this company, it's it's contributed a lot to my life. He has had his capable hands on many engines, but it's clear he has a favorite. The engine was designed for us mechanics to work on him with less downtime. That's the concept of that engine. The last PW4000 112 inch was recently built and sent out of Middletown, Connecticut. And while the engines will remain on wings for quite some time, it is the end of a powerful product built here that first launched in 1990. I do go on out to Boeing on the field trips and it's interesting to see our product come to life. The 112 inch version was the second derivative model in the PW4000 family used for Boeing 777. We were the first engine to launch the 777 at Boeing. It, it was exciting on both companies part. Musa Mechi now works on the GP line and he says he's excited to see the birth of pure power production. But the impact of his work, his colleagues' work on the 4000 will continue, and so too will this picture. It's found in places like North Berwick, Maine, and he was told it's being hung now on a wall in Singapore. It was a big deal. New plane, new engine, and everybody was excited to see this thing get off the ground.